Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing yet another unusual discovery coming from within our own planet. And more specifically, a discovery from within the core itself. The discovery from the center of planet Earth. The discovery of something that's happening in the inner core. Suggesting that the core of planet Earth seems to be oscillating with a period of approximately six years. Give or take a few months. And that's something that some scientists have actually speculated about in the past, but because of this new study and new data coming from a very interesting source from the 60s and the 70s, this now becomes a very solid theory. But let's actually start with the data. Because the source itself is extremely interesting and what got me personally really intrigued by the story and by the study itself. It didn't come from the usual source. It did not come from earthquakes, which are normally used to study the internal structure of our own planet. And in case you didn't know, the idea here is really simple. By listening to the propagation of various waves and measuring their speed with various seismographs across the planet, it becomes possible to actually determine what's inside the planet and even how fast things are moving or what sort of composition it might have. And because there are so many different seismographs on the planet today, it allows the scientists to create the image of the internal structure of the planet with quite a high resolution. And this has been obviously going on for quite a few decades now, allowing us to discover a lot of different exciting things about our planet, including these unusual structures known as LLSVPs we've discussed in some of the previous videos you can find somewhere in the description. But in this case, the scientists relied on something slightly different, or actually very different. Let me give you a bit of a hint. That's right, nuclear tests. The variety of ground nuclear tests conducted for several decades, starting, I guess, with the creation of the first nuclear bomb. And more specifically, the Soviet tests from between 1971 and 1974 on the island you see right here, but also very similar US tests on the Amchitka Island located in Alaska, with some of these tests conducted slightly earlier in 1969 and 1971. And so by using various types of waves generated by these nuclear explosions in the 60s and the 70s, and by using the data generated in a very similar way to earthquakes, the scientists once again were able to measure the compression waves generated by all of this activity, discovering some new things about the inner core of our own planet. And specifically discovering that the core itself seems to have changed its rotation of spin between 1969 and 1974. Now, what exactly do I mean by this? I don't mean that it reversed its spin. What I mean is that it actually spun a little bit faster and then a little bit slower. And that's actually something that the scientists sort of knew for a pretty long time. It's always been suspected that the inner core of our planet spins slightly faster than everything else on the planet. Specifically, it was believed to be approximately one degree per year, meaning that after 360 years, it would go around the planet once. And this is something that was actually published and originally discovered back in 1996. But the calculations from other scientists suggested that it was actually much, much slower. Specifically, it was probably 10 times slower, meaning that it was about 0.1 degrees per year. And so by using the data from these nuclear tests, they were able to definitively calculate that for some time, the core itself was spinning slightly faster than the planet. But then during some other years, it was spinning slightly slower. In other words, it was kind of oscillating. Every few years, it would either accelerate or decelerate its rotation, with the period of oscillation being roughly around six years. And also obviously suggesting that the core doesn't spin at the same velocity. It does seem to change the velocity, possibly due to some features we don't really understand yet. But because the core and the mantle are connected to one another, and because there's also a gravitational influence from both of them, this very likely affects the rest of the planet, creating the oscillations here as well. And this is really interesting because not so long ago, we had this other discovery that there seem to be unusual magnetic waves with a circulation of about seven years. The video for this is in the description or somewhere right there. And so there might be a chance that two of these phenomena could be somehow related because at the moment, the magnetic phenomenon is not really truly understood. And so for all we know, the inner core oscillation is responsible for all of this to begin with. Although here, the data is still quite limited. It's really only based on those observations from the nuclear tests. And because there are no nuclear tests conducted anymore, and also because the super powerful seismic detector known as the Montana Large Aperture Seismic Array closed back in 1978, it's going to be impossible to get as much accurate data as it was possible back in the days. This was so powerful that it was able to hear every nuclear test on the other side of the planet. 
And because nuclear explosions produced relatively clear waves and would actually be very easily observed from various locations, it produced the best possible data for all of this. Earthquakes, in comparison, are not as accurate and produce a lot of imprecise data that's not as useful for this type of measurement. But the other interesting confirmation is in regards to the length of the day on planet Earth. Because of this unusual oscillation, it looks like the length of the day seems to change by about 0.2 seconds every 6 years. We'll actually discuss how the length of the day on the planet changes with time in one of the previous videos, a video that should be somewhere in the description or somewhere right there. And it also seems to have an effect on the geomagnetic field of the planet as well. The field also oscillates with a relatively similar period of about 6 years. And all of this seems to be caused by the shift in that inner core. It moves approximately a few kilometers underneath us every 6 years or so. But obviously nobody really knows right now why it's doing so, or more importantly, if it has any other dramatic effects that we're not familiar with just yet. But because we now think that this is what happens inside the core, with the core moving either slightly slower or slightly faster, roughly around every 3 years, other studies can now try to match this and see if they discover other unusual patterns that were previously unknown to us or poorly explained. So definitely a pretty exciting discovery, with the data coming from a very unusual source. But I guess for now that's pretty much all we know and that's all the science has discovered. Once we learn something else about our own planet, there's going to be another video, so make sure to subscribe. Maybe share this with someone who has learned about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye. War. Uh. <laughs> what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Except for data that could be collected to study the inner structure of the planet by collecting seismological waves from the detonation of nuclear explosions. No, wait. It's still not good.